A little bit more work getting done on these uh, 113 4.3 Vortec heads. Um, spent a little bit of time. I'm still, I've got all my exhaust port work done. I've got all the bowl cuts done, the blends, the guides are done. And that's, you know, when I say done, that's on both heads. I mean, literally, all I have to do is do my flapper wheel work and polish the exhaust port. I worked on these chambers a little bit today while I've got kind of a crappy air compressor. So what I generally try to do is I'll use the air tools on what I can work on until the compressor starts getting mad. Then I got to either shut it off and let it rest or I got to let it just build up to full pressure and sit there for a little while. But that's because I haven't bought a good high quality compressor. But anyway. I've uh, got the bowl cuts done on these three intakes. Uh, they're at 89, uh, almost at about 89.5%. They'll probably be a full 89.5% by the time I'm done sanding and smoothing on them. But you can see where I've done quite a bit of work today. Hope it's not overexposing. On them bowls, trying to get them round, that's the hardest part. And then I've gone around and hit all the chambers on this head with 80 grit. And then on this one, I started using a 120 grit, but it just, I don't know, it's slow going. And I had to do it with my drill because my stupid air compressor was pissed at me. So, anyway, so we're doing 86% bulk is the bowl cut size on the exhaust. That is a 1.5 valve. And the intake side, we're going to end up at 89.5% after all the smoothing and polishing. Um, you can see where I did, where I'm whittling down them guides a little bit more. The, I was tempted, I don't think it's going to be needed. I have seen other Vortec heads where they literally just take the tail completely off the guide because there's a lot of head porters that just don't use guide tails on the guides. I don't think it's really going to be worth it, and I don't know if it's going to be, if this thing had aftermarket guides in it, where I could just cut that whole guide out of there, or the guide tail out, and just have your guide sticking up in the port would be optimum, but this thing still has good factory guides as far as I can tell. They haven't been, re you see, they haven't been replaced or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and keep those guide tails on there now. And then if he goes if he goes through these heads at a later date, we'll see about doing some more radical changes to uh, maybe even get more head flow out of them. But we probably need to go to a bigger valve. But I just wanted to give a little bit of update on the progress because those ports are coming out pretty nice. The chamber polishing as usual sucks ass but it'll help hold down detonation on that turbo build and I will finish it out I just like to complain every once in a while because it's funny so anyway I just wanted to give you guys an update on where I was at I did uh, finish that intake for the Pontiac today a lot of people there's the gasket match on that Victor, it's an Edelbrock Victor for a Pontiac V8. I'm gasket matched it to the Misker Gasket 503s. And a lot of people don't realize the Pontiac water crossover, you can separate. I don't know if you can see where those cut marks are. Right here is where that water crossover used to be connected. You can separate your water crossover on a Pontiac V8, and what that does is allows you to change an intake without draining your coolant or pulling your distributor. So it's a kind of cool deal. I mean, a lot of people, when they build their motors, they don't even bother changing the intake, but it's a common uh, option to use if you have a Pontiac V8 and you are going to do some testing between 
single plane, dual plane, different kinds of single planes, high rise single planes. I mean, it's kind of cool to be able to change intakes on the engine without a bunch of hassle. You know what I mean? As long as you put a good release agent, wax or whatever on your intake, you literally just pull one off, set one on, bolt it down, go. So anyway, that's where we're at. I've got that much done, and I wanted to low upload another video because I noticed I've been getting some more subscribers. So it'll be kind of good for them to have something to have something to watch. So anyway, that's where I'm at. I will get these heads to the machine shop this week to have the uh, spring pockets cut out to them big, big fat 1.509 dual springs. So. Anyway, I'll get another video up probably tomorrow or Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Stick with me.